range of probabilities. Now the probability of an event is always a number from 0 to 1. And to illustrate this, we'll talk about two different situations that we're very accustomed to. The coin, the flip of the coin, and the roll of the dice. Okay, now we'll start with a coin. If you look at a coin, there's two possibilities, heads or tails. And both of them have half a chance of happening. Now, if you look at that fraction as a decimal, half is just 0 0.5, which is a number from 0 to 1. And, and all probabilities will be between these two numbers. Now, the next part of the sentence is the possibility of the probability of all possible outcomes will add to 1. For instance, if I take the probability of getting heads and add it to the probability of tails, getting tails, it should equal 1. And it does, because 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 equals 1. Let's look at the dice now. The, all the possibilities are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. And they all have a fractional probability of 1 over 6, which as a decimal is not particularly great. But at 0. Point, oh, I can't, um, can't think of right today. The 0 0.16 continuous. So once again, it's a number between 0 to 1, as all probabilities are. Now, if you add up all the probabilities, it should equal 1. So if I went 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6, there's 6 numbers above. So if I added up 6 times, it should equal 1, which it does, because when you add fractions up, the denominator stays the same, and you add the top numbers up, and since there's 6 ones, it's 6 over 6. Or one. 